Hello guys, uh, good uh, morning. You are welcome once again to my lovely channel. You are welcome to Catfish uh, Solution Academy. My name once again is Tremin Odutola Isa Abiodundi TM, your great uncle on this channel. As you are watching from this background, today will be a very educative, informative uh, video. Because one, I will be telling you what you are watching on the background based on an on my educative lecture so that you can see how it runs itself so from this video now i'm in t and t farms in lambe and t and t farm is purely set up by me with just a single point uh, i think i will try to find one of the video here on the YouTube that I did when I'm setting up this farm with just a single with just a single uh, pond so after setting up the pond then we now arrived at CNT farms having about 35 ponds at present and uh, today I'm here in TNT farm to set up the ash tree system for the farm as you can imagine from the speed of 12 months t and t farm has uh, achieved a great nest on pound expansion uh, on farm expansion and uh, success in farm activities so which is purely set up by me i set up everything from the one what i mean by this is that we struggled because the owner of the farm is my bosom friend a bosom friend so we managed the family is my family so we managed to do all things we i there's nothing eating in the farm i exposed every secret of fish farming to the farm i took them to the way i do my tarpaulin to do it ourselves it's in this video we went there to buy the pond that we started here for just a single pond and this is what we have now we have about 35 ponds now and we have some at home because we started at the backyard at home yeah as we are setting up this farm what well, the first thing i did is to test the potential hydrogen of the water which i did from this video before and i noticed that the water uh, hydrogen parameters ranges 5.5 which is not that too bad yeah no i said not that too bad because you will need a single adjustment in order to buffer it up so the next thing we are doing as you are seeing from the background is to help from the horse's mouth to know some of the history of what they have done before i arrived in the farm so that i can know where i will start from so this is important for a professional to do you don't jump jump to a farm and you start to work you need a background activities of the farm so that you can know where to advise so we did test for the potential hydrogen of the water and uh, after testing for the potential hydrogen of the water i've known what i can use in order to adjust but why i'm still asking more questions is that i'm trying to see which one will be easier for the farm to operate with what i mean by easier to operate with is that there are two ways you can do this in your farm is it that through human energy or through the water treatment plant so I'm trying to see which will be convenient for them because there's a water treatment plant there being installed online by me and uh, I want to know what and what to put into the water treatment plant that can hit them and then can add, uh, that can equally support them in order to do a constant flow through without woman effort so the next thing we'll be testing as you are seeing from the background is we'll be testing for the water hardiness we'll be testing for the water conductivity we'll be testing uh, for the total dissolved solid in the water which has one 
of most of the important parameters in your water you need to check and because the owner is my bosom friend he does not want me to do anything in silence so he wants to check all what i'm doing so that's why you can see from the background you can see that we are both heavyweights mm -hmm. so checking for your water hardiness of your water for those of you who really don't care about knowing all this it is very very important as a successful ashri to understand some of the most important parameters in your water if you take your water for lab test most of the key parameters in your water i advise you to have the kit sometimes if i said have this kind of a kit sometimes people thought it's because of the money involved that because i want to sell the material they don't know it is important for you to do all this checking because water do changes at every single period if you have a rainfall water change if you have in Amatan in summer water change so as a professional asha you need to follow up with how your water changes in order for you to know what and what to use in order to adjust your water at that given period so that you can achieve that set desired result you deserve in your farm so checking through this now some things i discovered is that i discovered that the water hardiness is low the conductivity of the water is low and the total dissolved solid of the water is low not that the total dissolved solid of water is automatically low because the total dissolved solid on this water gave me 85 and 85 is not that low but what i meant by low is that once your water dissolved solid is lower because there's a ranges once it's lower and your water conductivity the water conductivity in this water falls to 121 it's a little bit lower it's not up to 1000 which is higher so there's still a gap between it so it is advisable for you to do what what you are using to correct the potential hydrogen of 5.5 should automatically correct the total hardiness take it up a little bit to like 150 120 to 150 takes the conductivity up a little bit to like 500 and takes your the total uh, the total dissolved solid of your water a little bit again to like 120 so how can you achieve this you will need a material that can help you to adjust this and the likes of the material the chemical material you can use to adjust this is just two you will need what we call the bicarbonate of soda and you will need what we call the calcium chloride that will help you to adjust this and if you are not doing that if you want to adjust this through the natural source you would need my seashell to adjust this and the application of the seashell as you can see from the background that's what i'm trying to experiment you can put it inside your storage tank because they are thinking using the seashell so for them to use the seashell that means i will have to mount it into the storage tank into the water filtrating system or water treatment system which we have so as the water is coming in from the storage tank it will get into the water filtrating water treatment system and from the water treatment system this will go into your ashtray so that is what you are seeing from the background so after testing for that what i'm checking is i'm checking the tester uh, for the uh, i want to check for the tester for the nitrate of your water nitrate and nitrate and nitrite of your water are very very important too as well so that is why it's advisable you can see i'm looking i'm using the liquid tester and that is the liquid tester i'm cutting so cutting the liquid tester i will now use it to test for the water nitrate that is the nitrate tester the liquid tester 
So the nitrogen tester comes with a powdered inside and the powdered just put some level of water into the tube you shake it once you put the quantity of water you close the lid so once you close the lid you shake it once it's been shaked you have to put it down for 20 minutes and the tester will automatically start working himself so that is what i'm doing so i just try to check for the nitrite of the water and again i'll be checking for the co2 of the water and that constitutes the oxygen a little bit oxygen of the water and the potential hydrogen of the water that means the d of the water the ammonia of the water so that's what i'm trying to check and in here it comes with a co2 shaker the way the co2 shaker works is that the co2 shaker is being placed inside the tank with the mouth open inside the water so that this can absorb some of the oxygen of the water so as it's absorbing the oxygen of the water this water colored the color of the liquid that i that i'm seeing me putting that i think i put like 10 drops you can see the water will change it. the water the liquid is blue color so the water will be adjusting to green the different types of colors of green yellow so this will tell you the amount of your potential hydrogen of the water and the oxygen in your water so it's a shaker that you can put mount into your water into your tank and this can stay there for a week or two weeks before you change it the checker will be changing will be adjusting will be going changing colors as the water is changing so if you have the checker in your pond what you need to do is that you need to just check to see the color if the color is suitable for what you need it for if it doesn't suitable you need to change your water to add up another water and to check the checker again it's an avenue to advise you on how to do it best in your farm so another thing i'll be using as i'm trying to check the oxygen the ammonia of the water the uh, parameters that can help you balance that off is what we call your water aerator aerator brings lives to your fishes it corrects the ammonia of your water it corrects the uh, oxygen in your water that means the total dissolved solids in your water this corrects it and makes your water have oxygen so from what you are seeing from the background i have two aerator which comes with a which as which uses a usb cable a usb cable is being used when you don't have light in the farm you can just use a power bank to power it and this will work very well this can work depending on how powerful your power bank is this is how it works and from what you are seeing i have two of it i have the one that can work for a single pond and i have the one that will work for two ponds at a go so that is what you are seeing so in case you need any of those material make sure that you contact me and it'll be delivered to you anywhere you are and if you want us to visit your farm to advise you on your farm make sure that you contact us we'll fix a date for you in order to advise the activities in your farm two heads 